Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're talking treasure map against Luffy. Well, for the five plus Luffy against Momonosuke. And in today's video, I have a bunch of teams for you guys to help take down this new event. Now, in today's video, we're basically building teams that don't include the newer batch characters. Now, when I say newer batch characters, I basically excluded all of these like previous celebrations honestly i've even excluded this celebration which is kind of nuts um so if you scroll down here all of these units here stuff like momo stuff like hiyori the new um sakuzuki you've got the kobe batch all of these characters i have excluded plus i have excluded the five star variations of these particular units of the previous treasure map and the kazuna character now moving forward I would probably recommend keeping a copy, an extra copy of those units. So for this particular Luffy, I would highly recommend keeping a copy of the five star version, like this one right here, as well as a five plus. Because as you can see with this BBS unit, the five star and the five plus are all boosted and that way you can just get more points whether or not it works for the teams is a different story but look just moving forward i would highly recommend doing so they do give you enough to keep one copy for your box but as you guys can see that is the teams that i'm rocking right now we're going to break down each individual fight huge shout out to the treasure map planner for the images and all the information provided if you guys want to go use this particular source for your own teams i will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check it out but while you're down there don't forget to build the like button it helps me out a great deal hit the subscribe button if you're new or if you're coming back you're coming back anyway, so help a brother out. Most importantly, let me know in the comment section below if these help you guys out or if you guys, if I've missed anything or you guys have any ways to make these teams better because these are the buildable teams for you guys to help you take down each particular fight. So we're going to kick it off with Luffy. Against Luffy, everyone gets all the good stuff. Uh, on stage three, you get six turns of paralysis, a full board of block orbs, five turns of color orbs being unfavorable. There is a two turn 15 hit barrier and then there is delay immunity. So... The leader is Stampede Luffy. The new 6 plus just gets around Paralysis. Double gift, uh, sorry, double Stampede Luffy is going to remove 10 turns of Paralysis. So you don't even have to worry about this particular shenanigan rewrite here. Next, we have um, Sanji. Sanji's double special activation will remove barriers. Provided you have a Monkey D Luffy on the team or as a support because our leader is Luffy. We can get around it that way. Next, we've got Bon Clay. Bon Clay is actually going to rotate our orbs into recovery. Plus, he gives us base stats, which is awesome. And then we have um, Ezo here just for a little bit of a uh, type advantage. You can use the Ezo special to give yourself um, barrier removal as well and rotate block orbs. And then finally, we have this Zoro uh, from Treasure Map. He's just a wave clear. You can replace him with any unit you like but the way the team operates is luffy's just going to get around the paralysis use bond clay to give you a base stats and get around block orbs and then to get around the um the barrier you can use the double special of sanji with that you will have a luffy special at the ready you can use luffy special and then that way you can just easily take out um the stage with all of the buffs that luffy provides you'll have a chain boost your base stats um and you'll also have um the attack the orbs all of this good stuff that luffy's actually doing if you guys did do that double strap where you saved a Yamato copy. This uh, five-star Yamato, you could easily use her over Zoro and then rely on one of the Luffy's to wave clear as well. That's something that you guys definitely can do. Moving on to Dendro now. Dendro is an inch unit where side Dex, and Strength units get all the good stuff. There will be six turns of Despair after Sockets, six turns of Paralysis, five turns of Attack Down, a full board of Block Orbs, and you get 99 turns of Delay Immunity. Now, the leader for this team, we're using Wipe It and Marco. Um, they're a 1.25 times booster. Um or 1.2, I believe, they're an int captain that can also give you paralysis removal with their swap and their super swap. So if you guys need to, you can actually use this to get around the paralysis. It's also nice to get around special bind as well if you guys want to use it for something like this team here. But I'm using it over here. We have Brook for double wave clearing shenaniganry. We have Yamato. Yamato can actually remove um, six turns of despair plus she gives you um sly resistance which is really really nice we have the luffy uta blitz character they're going to rotate our block orbs into recovery they also give us damage reduction as well as uh, special bind removal but the, look, the big reason they're here is just to rotate these particular block orbs and then finally we have robin to get around the attack down robin's also going to give you a uh, conditional against defense down too so with this uh, you'll have um, White Bit and Marco being your base stat booster. You have conditional booster and then resistance. The downside here is you don't actually have an attack booster, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, you have a bunch of paralysis removal with supports here. However, there are some better supports that you guys can use if you have access to them. So what you can actually do here 
is you can use something like this paralysis removal. I can never find paralysis on this thing. You can oh, I use this Mr. One, so that way you guys get a chain boost. Um, we're using Brook for double uh, wave clearing shenanigans, but with Whitebeard and Marco, you can actually pop their special and get an orb boost with Sanji. And then what you can do over here as well is you can use um, Frankie. Oh, actually, no, you're not, you're not doing a damage dealing special, never mind. I'm going to say, well, yeah, you had an option there, but look, unfortunately, it is what it is. So, look, the team should work fairly nicely. Um, you could definitely run, like, Buggy on a character. Um, you could run, you could use, like, this Koala to use um, 1.2 times attack on your captains. Um, you could use X-Strike to give, like, Strikers an attack boost, so then Striker characters are hitting a little bit harder, which is mainly your Wipe It and... and um, Marco, and then basically you don't even need Nami here because you got six turns of paralysis that way. But it depends on what your box looks like, depends on what you're rocking and what you want to do. But basically, um, you can want to use then uh, Sanji here. Um, but basically, if you have some supports, you can make this team work. But remember, Brook is just here for wave clearing, so you could easily just replace him with like treasure map Sanji, or you could replace him with like an attack or an all booster there. Moving on to Rizo now, he has six turns of, oh sorry, Strength, Dex, and Quick Characters get all the good stuff. Six turns of Paralysis and Despair after Sockets. Six turns of Bind after Sockets as well on your top and bottom row. Normal attacks only and six turns of Attack Down. There's also full immunity on, on Death. He comes back with 10% HP and a two turn one hit one orb barrier. So the team we're using uses gear five, six plus as our captain. We completely get around Despair this way. He's our attack booster. He's our orb booster. It works quite nicely. He can also give us a full board of orbs provided you run um, three of his characters for his, um, what's it called ability, where you can rotate a full board of orbs and lock them, and then you get the two Wano orbs. Now, what you can actually do is, is with this Yamato, she's going to give us the Wano orbs. If you don't need the increased damage taken on the final stage, you can actually use this to wave clear on turn two, keep the Wano slots, and then lock them with Luffy and his super, uh, super EX, which is really, really nice. Um, uh, we have Gukimaru for some, uh, bind removal, as well as some paralysis removal. You can... Pair that with Nami, who's also giving paralysis removal, but also attack down. And then finally, we have this Law, who can actually give attack down removal and an attack boost to slashes and cerebral characters. The main upside is just to sort of give the attack boost to, um, to Gukimaru for the first turn. And then on the revive, you can just like use a Luffy. What you can actually do is too, you can use the six star Luffy as a friend captain. That way, you don't even have to worry about the blind. You have to worry about the barrier and you're in a really good spot there. But with the double Luffy combination, you have an attack boost and then an orb boost, and then on the next turn, you can get an attack boost that way. And that should work out pretty hunky dory. I'm pretty sure Law's an attack boost for one turn. Um, uh, if you're above 50%, yeah, two times for one turn. So um, this team should work fairly nicely. Remember, these teams are just sort of trying to get you to the um, the milestone points, and then you can go from there. On to Shinobu now. Slashes the free spirit, and Cerebus got a good stuff. It's six turns of special mind, which is actually really annoying to deal with when you're doing these like buildable and like free to play teams. Um, badly matching orbs, six turns of orb lock, one turn of a 25 hit barrier, six turns of threshold, six turns of defense up, and everything except delay immunity. 10% um, 10 10 revive on death, action silence, which means you can't literally do anything. And then you get a attack down if you're below a three times chain boundary. So, Izo Kiku, it just screams Izo Kiku here. You want to build out a slash team at this point, use them on turn one. It's going to give you three turns of a chain lock. Um, they're super type and super class. You can increase it. They're going to give one or orbs to the middle row, and you're just really in a really, really good spot at that particular point. Running two of them is nice because then you get the double one or orb situation. Um, Ashura Doji is going to remove the special bind, which is awesome. Um, you have this Toshigi to remove threshold and defense up. She um, actually got increased to six turns, if I remember correctly, uh, with her extra buff. Yeah, level limit break. They gave her a level limit break and it goes to six turns. Um... Yeah. Oh, if you've if you've done twenty thousand excessive healing, ah, okay. Well, that's super interesting. We're gonna have to then just like bring a healing unit. Um, so yeah, bring anyone that can sort of just heal. Um, off the top of my head, I don't really know anyone, but um, I'm sure there's someone on this particular list that you could bring. Um, you could also bring Tesoro actually too. Tesoro is another really, really good unit that you could actually use um, instead of Izo and Kiku. Um, and that way you can get around, um, the, the, what's it called? The attack down below a certain threshold. But yeah, so you really want to bring someone that can heal. Um, Raise Max is a great option. Um, who else have we got here? This Chopper, I believe this Chopper's boosted his Cerebral. Yeah, so you could, like, easily, wait, doesn't Hiyaguru actually heal? 
Uh, he removes the increased defense. Um, and he does color affinity. He does a base stat boost. I was going to say you could replace him with pretty much anyone. That um, And don't you remove threshold? Uh, oh yeah, cool. So he, he does the threshold reduction. Hiragura does the um, the defense up removal. So literally you don't even need this Toshigi. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a smackhead. So literally just replace this Toshigi with whoever you like. I don't know. Barkrat and Dice. You can use Hina. Um, let's just chuck Hina there for now. But like you could literally use anyone that you like. So team's going to work great. Um... Carrot Wanda are going to be our attack and our orb booster, so make sure you start as Wanda and then switch into Carrot. Um, and then you'll have matching orbs on the top and matching orbs in the middle. To get around the barrier, we have a whole bunch of barrier pen. Um, probably want to do that, actually. Um, you'll have a whole bunch of barrier pen with Carrot Wanda and Izo Kiku, and that should just work out really hunky-dory. Moving on to the final fight now against uh, Momonosuke. I guess Momonosuke, this one was an interesting one. I didn't find this as, as challenging to build than what the Intrusion had. But nevertheless, it was still very annoying because you do want to try and bring some admirals for uh, Green Bull. So Powerhouse, Free Spirit, Fighters get all the good stuff. Full Border Block Orbs on Stage 2. 6 turns of Attack Down, 7 turns of Burn, 9 turns of Normal Attacks only. And then there's a Barrier for 3 turns of a 1 Perfect as well as a 2 turn 1 Deck Sword Barrier. So a double Barrier situation is kind of interesting. 99 turns of immunity except for Ignite, and then there's 100k death damage. On the final stage, there's 5 turns of Special Bind, 6 turns of Paralysis, a full water block orbs, 5 turns of Despair after Sockets, 6 turns of Ship Bind, and then Ignite. Um, everything except Ignite immunity. If you do a slot change, you get block orbs and then a lock orb situation. Um, which doesn't seem that chat like difficult to get around, because I guess you could just keep like swapping them, provided it doesn't pop all the time. But... I did find a way to bring the Admiral Akainu and Garp on the team for this one. Uh, we are using Ryo Kugugu. I suck with names, as you guys know, but it's Greenbull. Um, basically, use his special on turn 2 to get around to the burn. And then he's going to give you a full water deck swaps to get through the barrier. And then you can use this super class to lock them into place. So that way you can carry them into the next stage. And you don't have to worry about the, um, the super orb block. So this super orb block situation. Uh, or no, you're going to create a super orb block, and that way you don't have to worry about this block orb situation. To get around the paralysis, we have Kid. He's also a color affinity booster to dex characters. Um, then we have Akainu to give us burn. With the Zoro support, you can actually get a, uh, give yourself an, uh, an orb boost for the final stage, because you are using Green Bull on the turn before that. To get around this six turns of attack down, we are using the free-to-play Beppo, uh, Bluno, and Sunny Kun. They're also going to give us damage reduction, so you can tank the shot. And then on the final stage... You can um, get around the Despair with uh, Luffy if you want to. Uh, however, Akainu is going to do that already, so like you're already in a good spot. Uh, and then finally, you have this Garb, who's actually an attack booster to strike. Uh, sorry, to powerhouse characters, um, which is really, really nice. Um, oh, no, to strike characters, which is what um, Green Bull actually is. Uh, if you're captains to the other ones, you can get some cooldowns. But look, at the end of the day, he's just there as your attack booster. Uh, so that's always nice. Now, Luffy on this team is completely replaceable. I've literally just put him here because he's a 1.4 times boost. So if you're, la if you're lacking damage, just replace him with any, like, other quick unit if you want. Like, I'd try and use something from here. But, like, you know, if you've got higher boosters, use the higher boosters. On to Yamato now. Yamato, Powerhouse, Slashes, and Free Spirit characters get all the good stuff. This one was a lot harder to build for because, like I said, you have to bring those Admirals to, like, work with Ryo Kugugu. And, um, unfortunately, like, the list, whilst there are some... Isn't exactly the greatest for it, but we did manage to put a team together. It's nowhere near as many points as the final boss. But remember, you can skip this intrusion if you just don't want to fight it. But um, it definitely helps getting to the threshold points uh, a lot faster. But there is six turns of paralysis, which you can get around with our Luffy captains. There is nine, nine turns of normal attacks only. There is a two turn strength barrier, which is very annoying to get around. It's like very, very annoying. Six turns of attack down and immunity except for ignite. Again, there's death damage, 100k. And then on final stage against Yamato, there's super block orbs, turning all, all like regular orbs into super block. Seven turns of slot bind, five turns of ship bind, seven turns of threshold, a slot attack down if you have Wano orbs. And then the enemy is like a type she does like a type change where she can either be strength or she can be dex which is so dumb that obviously they want you to run double rio kugugu and then um like get the the double situation that way um with his super tenor shanks ability but nevertheless we did manage to put this team together luffy's going to get around the paralysis um we did just need one other turn of paralysis i believe um to get around the six turns and um to do that you can just bring anyone on um on sanji 
He's got um, Nami. Nami's probably your best option. Most people probably have Nami. But you also have this Chopper. He's, he's a great option. He can remove attack down as well. Uh, but look, most people are going to have Nami. To get around the attack down here, we're utilizing our Luffy special. That's going to work out really, really nice. And then on the final stage, uh, that Brook support is going to trigger too to get around this 100k. So don't stress about that. Uh, we are using the special of Sanji to get around this barrier situation. And if you actually use the Ria Kugugu, um, what's it called? Super type, you'll actually give yourself a super orb block. So you won't have to worry about the super block orbs on the final stage. Now, ideally, you probably want to do that. So then that way you have a whole bunch of orbs here. Um, and you want to probably do that. Just in case, because it depends on what typing the the enemy. Oh wait, hang on. Let me let me just rephrase here. Let me uh, let me fix that. Uh, depending on what typing the enemy is turns into, you want to have type advantage with either Iso or Fuku Majuju. Um, this way, you're going to super block um, these orbs here, and you're going to be in a good spot. Luffy's going to give himself an orb as well. Remember that with the with his his swap. Um, but he's going to lock that orb, so like it's it's kind of whatever. Um, you don't want him to have that orb though, because he's going to have super block. So it's it's a little bit of a bit of a conundrum there. But look, Luffy should be fine. On to the final stage. To get around the threshold, uh, we are utilizing um, Ryukugugu, this guy. He does five turns of it, and he gives you a chain boost. However, you do need it a little bit more, so I am using the Akainu with the Kuzan support to get around the, the final two. Um, if your captain is powerhouse, Fuji can swap into captain, which is awesome. He'll swap into captain, and then you can use his super type or super class, whatever it is, to give uh, yourself a color affinity buff on the final stage as well. So with this, you'll have the orb buff of Ryuk the uh, green ball. Uh, and then you have color affinity, you have a conditional with a Kainu, and then um, that's basically it. So you kind of want to try and find an attack booster somewhere. Um, there isn't really too many good attack boosters floating around. Um, but what you can do is you probably could use this if you really want to, because like, I mean, these are both cerebral characters. Yeah, you definitely could actually. Um, they're both cerebral characters. So um the, the characters that are doing damage are going to be getting the, the biggest orb buff there. Um, you could easily just chuck on like Shiki or something like that to try and just give yourself some more damage. Um, but look, like I said, this final boss, it was a bit of a doozy to fight. But nevertheless, we did manage to get it done. Hopefully these teams help you guys out. If they did, make sure to go down there, bell like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. If they didn't and I stuff something up, let me know down below as well. And uh, hit the like button and subscribe button while you're there as well. Most importantly, whether you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.